But Dobby knows a thing or two about outside-the-box candidates. He's certainly an outside-the-box entertainer and actor, just based on his longevity alone. In fact, Robert, of course, who's played sometimes a few mob villains, uh, is not the kind of guy you want to tell, as we had to tell last week, you're not on today. <laughs> so everyone was, was grasping straws. Uh -huh. Who's going to tell Robert he's not on today? Uh, those people are now gone. They're missing. We can't find them. But Robert is here, back with us. I'm happy to see you. It's great Thank to you. be here. Yeah, it's good um, to see you. You're arguing that sometimes you do need to bring a little pizzazz to that candidacy, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, look, part of it is reaching the public. It's culture. It's being able to sell a message to people through the white noise of everything else. So what sets you apart? Not only that, I think it's... In other words, I analyze these candidates as if they were acting students of mine. And I want to see where I find authenticity, where I find passion, where I find compassion, where I find someone who I feel has a, an, a strength to be able to go up against a Putin. So the combination of all these aspects. And that matters on the world stage. You it matters on the world yourself, stage, right? exactly. Like, for instance, I, I like Carly Fury. I like all these candidates are terrific. Yeah. Carly Fiorina, for instance, is interesting. When she talked about the... Uh, uh, Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood. Right. The tone of that. I understand the outrage, but she could have adjusted that. I would have told her as her campaign manager, give me compassion with that same message. Find me, find me. Don't, don't, don't give me your anger. Give me your compassion with that. Baby parts, ripping them from their limbs. Take a breath on that. By attacking the American people, you push them away. In certain instances, sometimes it's good. But there's no well, that comment resonated, even though critics said it, she made that story up. No, no, it resonated. But no, I hear what you're saying. But this is what we're looking for. I'm looking at the general election. Okay. Ben Carson is a very thoughtful human being. I, I reached out to him, I think, several years ago. Uh, I like his uh, philosophy. Reached out in what way to tell him to run? Well, I, that, yeah, kind of that I, that I felt uh, he... You liked how he performed the prayer book. Yes, I love that. I, absolutely, on. because... But, you know, he so doesn't get high marks in charisma. He freely admits that. He does yeah. not as exciting or domineering as a Donald Trump. You like Trump. Yeah. On that aspect, does it trouble you that Carson isn't that? Uh, how it all plays out is, is uh, different. Uh, you know, you never know. The, for me, the reason why I respond to, uh, or, or right now I'm, I'm feeling uh, Donald Trump, is besides the boldness of his immigration policy, besides his divisive comments that people pick apart sometimes, the, the essence, I think, of him being able to send a message, a cultural me message in the general election will reach more people. Once all the, we, they all have plans. We've seen this, Neil, for how many years? That's right. Politicians coming and telling us this and telling us that. And they, they oftentimes, if they have plans at all, they're not very detailed, and they usually reverse them. Bill Clinton, 92, with the middle class tax cut. Never, never happened. Never happened. So I feel that we, an outsider who's not a politician, uh, in the case of Trump or, or Carson, and I like Carson's courage. He showed courage in terms of not backing down from his statement about Sharia law is incompatible right, right. with the U.S. Constitution. That he personally would not accept a Muslim. Well, president. you know, Maxine Waters, one, I forget who it was in Los Angeles, they went to a conference, Sharia law and the U.S. Constitution, saying that it was compatible. Well, how could it be compatible? How? How is it compatible? So you don't think, and he didn't suffer in the polls for that. But do any of the other candidates out there, like, they use as some bigger than life characters, Chris Christie comes to mind, yeah. but he's imploding, what do you make of that? Christie, uh, I met him in, when Meg Whitman was running for governor. I met oh, him at wow. a, a fundraiser there uh, briefly. And I couldn't get a, I didn't get a warm and fuzzy feeling for myself. Yeah. Now, that's not to say he isn't. I'm just saying for Maybe myself. Maybe he just was you cynical know, of another Italian. It, 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 could, it could have been. It could, it could have been something. Who knows? Yeah. But obviously he's equipped. He's passionate. He's forceful. Um, then why don't you think he's registering? Yeah, we got to stress yet. Yeah, this is very early on still. I, I think he's, I th because there's another tone. There's another tone that comes across. And that tone is the tone I felt when I met him. Huh. Someone that, see, Trump is extremely likable in spite, in spite <laughs> no, no, no. no Carly is likable. Carly is likable, and, yeah. and so is, is Christie, I'm sure. But I don't, okay. I don't quite get. I, and I, and I get, uh, like Marco Rubio is terrific. He's another guy that I right. met. And for me, if I was analyzing him as a, as, a, as an acting coach, slow down. 
Give me your thought process, but don't give it to me like okay. a Harvard debate student that's been prepped. Oh, all right. I well, mean, th- these are things I just want to tell, you know. Oh, no, interesting insights all. Robert Davi, good breed of people, good actor, good singer, not so bad. All right. Keep that in mind. Any of you candidates who go the other way, he will be merciless with you.